Hello again. I've come up with a scheme. Now you see, last time we looked at that train station, and well, you know, I think we should buy it. But of course, we have talc tokens, and they don't. You see, they don't know the value of these these green wonders, right? So, if we make a bunch of talc tokens, and then reintroduce them to this world, well, we could buy anything we want. Anything for really cheap. But you know, the thing is, we don't want to be evil. We don't want to be mean. We just want to make some more green. So that is why we're going to, we're going to build an empire once more. We're going to sell things, services, the like. And then we'll be rich enough to buy this world once more. Well, I guess it's not once more. We haven't done it yet, but we will. Just you wait. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Block Breaking SMP. Today is the first episode of 2023, which is pretty good, and that's why for my New Year's resolution on the server, we are going to improve our storage. So, you know, we have our dirt hut over here, but uh, it's a little cramped, and it will actually used to be worse than this when there's paintings on the wall and stuff, but, you know, this place is packed to the brim. So, we need uh, more room because, well, these shulkers, you can actually open them all, but it's, it's not enough room. So... Uh, we had to expand out here and that's just ugly so we're gonna come over here and uh, you know sticking with that theme we are going to make a dirt storage barn that's gonna be over here hey uh, future me here this uh, video is not going to line up in any way with what I'm saying this is just some footage of me making the door to this storage room uh, but you know I want to go over a few things before then including why the audio of this video is so bad uh, so in the first take, I was sick, like that clip back there. Um, I was sick for like two months straight. I kept, I got a cold and I got another cold and then I got another cold for like four times. Right. Uh, and then the cord on my microphone started to break. So that was annoying to say the least. And I got a new cord now, but the audio issues aren't totally fixed. So I guess we'll just continue on for now. Like just, you know, ignore it. Right. Um, as well, I want to kind of switch up. I was doing the block breaking videos, right? I like doing the tutorials. They're short. They're simple. They're snappy. Um, that's all there is to them, right? A lot of work goes into the block breaking videos, at least by my definition of work. Um, but you know, they, they take a lot longer to make is what I'm saying. And I feel like I'm not getting as much out of them just in terms of, I don't know, my own enjoyment of, of making them right. So I wanted to focus more on the builds and also the people we're playing with because that's really what I enjoy doing the most. The, the people here are great. Uh, we've been doing this for like over a year now. Uh, so I want to focus more on that. Um, but I still want to do the build. So what I'm thinking is I'll be participating in more events around the server and joining up with other people to do more community involved like things, right? That might not necessarily mean a video from me. But, you know, you might see me in somebody else's videos. That's why I always highly suggest that you do check out other people's videos, because you never know who might be in them, right? Uh, not only that, but... Uh, what was everything I was saying? But yeah, so there will be more of a focus on the community stuff. But in terms of what will be on this channel, it's probably going to be mostly the builds. Right, I'd like to include somebody in a video every time, but that's not always possible, right? We all have different time periods and lives we're busy with, uh, but we do have a lot in store for you, so stay tuned for that. Um, that being said, for my videos, I'm thinking they might be a lot shorter from now on. This is different. I recorded this one kind of before I decided that, right? Um, but in the future, they might be a bit shorter, right? There might be a five minute one where uh, today we build this thing, then we build that thing, right? Very, very, very simple. Not like the tutorials, but in a similar vein of that's the style I like making. And I just feel like, one, I'm really busy all the time, so it's easier for me to do that, and it will mean there's more videos, which is always great. Uh, and I just feel like, you know, that's the direction I want to head. That being said, you know, who knows? I do change my mind a lot. And that's all the updates I had, I think. I thought this was going to be more, more updating and 
more entertaining for the most part. This is really just a piston door that I struggled to place all the dirt around of. Um, yeah. Let's take a moment to just laugh at how slow I'm building this door. You know, there was a whole um, tutorial backing for this. So like, around this point, I think I was saying, I think you're going to place the dirt like this. And uh, now we're going to open the door. And of course, it doesn't work because I forgot to place the dirt in the, the dropper here. Um, and then I do place the dirt in the dropper, right? But I place it in the wrong one. This is all totally boring, I'm sure. Um, but this, you know, this is what's going on behind the scenes. I'm sitting here, it's 3 a.m. And I'm placing dirt in the wrong dropper. Then I place it in the right dropper. But now the door's in reverse. To me, this is really funny right now. To you seeing this video, oh, it's worst thing in the world. Um, I will tell you that if you skip 40 seconds, no, 20 seconds into the future, you should be past all this. Um, so bye-bye. Uh, For those of you that are not bored of my incoherent rambling in the morning here, that is the door. I, I, I did get it working. Um, now, I don't open it again. But if I were to open it again on camera there, that wouldn't work. Uh, we had to fix things later with Kai and some other older footage will appear later on in this video. Oh, I forgot about that too. Um, but the thing with Kai, some older footage will appear in the video and then we fix that. Oh, uh, the, the time lapse is coming up now, so uh, I'll just skip to that and let you guys be. I'm down here with Kai, and that's because we had to fix something before we admire the beautiful creation we've created. And that's because the redstone on the server here works different than it does on our creative server, which is very odd. Uh, so we had to fix this T flip flop thing here. And, well, yeah, um, it was just a very simple fix. And yeah, now it works perfectly. Yeah, we had to add a tick delay to make it work. So we had to move it one block up the T flip flop and add a repeater. Because apparently, just a single redstone will not do on this server. That is weird, isn't the, it? The server is too slow to keep up <laughs> with such a slow delay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, mean such it a is fast a... delay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it is, a, it is a dirt hut, right? So, you know, it's not caught up with the times, I guess. Um, but yeah, I guess the next step here is all the item frames and... And whatnot, but I'm going to do that some other time because I can't be bothered. I got to say, though, this thing looks really good. Do you have a sign right? on Right, Like, if we take out... Because uh, no. you're probably going to need one. It'd be like, wire, stay away, so he doesn't come in here and break all your item frames. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> you, did you, you saw the base last season, right, with the whole map? He, he really hated that. I mean, everyone did. <laughs> no one could go there. But yeah, thank you. Oh, no um, problemo. I guess we'll have to do this again sometime. All right, so we got the storage room done now here. Uh, so I'm joined with Ray, the storage slayer, who's going to help me tackle uh, all of this here. Uh, it's a great shop idea because this is all the stuff from the train station, and then there's stuff in my house. And I've already started myself a bit, so we're going to hopefully tackle this here now. And uh, then, you know, all my stuff will be sorted. So I'm quite happy with that. So, uh, yeah, I'll jump to that. All right, everyone. Our storage room is finally done. It's all set up. No more problems, hopefully. Uh, and here it is. I added a tree on top. That part kind of got cut out in the time lapse. Uh, and the top does look a bit better now with it. I mean, it's not supposed to look great. It is a dirt uh, building, right? But overall, I'm really happy with this building. I think it's great. Uh, there is a sign on it now. It says storage, not no wires. Um, honestly, it puts this one to shame. Look at that. It's just normal dirt, right? This one, it's got rooted dirt. It's got granite. It's got um, this one, the 
whatever it is, right? The I'm gonna pretend I know what it is. Mm, I can't remember. Anyways, uh, if we go inside now with the fully functioning piston door, you can see that already it's um it's become cluttered. Actually, that's empty. I can put that away because I'm organized now, right? Um, that's mine. Put that away. But, as you can see, we got all of our stuff labeled and set away here. Ignore that one, I need a block for that. But, you can see, it's all organized here. This is personally what I would recommend if you are to set up your own storage room, right? You got your dyes, animal, uh, passive mob stuff, you know what I mean? All that, you know, take a look at that if you want. I think it's pretty good for sorting everything. And over here, oh, don't look at that. Uh, over here, we have a shulker swapper. So when I'm doing projects, you can just load up this shulker, take it, run away, uh, you know, plop a new one in. And we have all our amenities in here, anvil under chest, the works. And this block here, I just moved this to remind myself that I'm going to put a trash can in it. Because uh, never forget where you came from. And also, a uh, trash can is pretty helpful. Especially when some of these chests start to get full. You know, you don't want every single piece of flint. You don't want every single piece of... Rotten flesh. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed my incoherent rambling for the majority of the video. But you know what? Honestly, despite this still being voiced over at... What, what time is it now? Uh, three in the morning now. I think this was pretty good. And I'm doing it again. And I'm probably going to continue doing it again. Because I, as I said before... I do change my mind a lot, so maybe there'll be more of this. Maybe there won't be. Uh, only way to find out is if you watch it. But anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. All right, so looks like we have our plan for next time. We're going to make some more shops. We're going to reintroduce talk tokens to this world, and then we can take over and buy the train station. So let's head over there. Huh? Mr. Talc tokens at the... I think that says egg. Free. Well, I mean, that's literally free money, right? I guess we should probably go there instead. Um, yeah, I'm going to make my way over there then. And we can get some free talc tokens. See you then.